thank you and a shout out to my Patreon supporters above me. Thank you guys. You mean so much to me. You've been a great support in 2019. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. I wanted to make a video to see if um, 80p VR games are any good on Steam. So this is an 80p game I brought on Steam. It's one of the better games. It's had one of the better reviews. So I just wanted to check it out and see if these types of games are worth it in VR for 80p. So let's dive in. It's called Cargo Breach. Okay, here we are on the main menu. Cargo Breach, wake up. Okay. Okay, we're in a space station. Sorry to wake you up from requiring that like that. The reason we woke you up is this. As you know, you're on board the Selene, headed for Earth, where you would normally wake up. But we run into an issue. Part of the cargo has escaped, and we need to clean it up before it gets to Earth. And by cleaning, we mean killing. As cargo doesn't want to have another rampant livestock issue on Earth, paperwork alone would be. No more regans for me for the rest of the year. So, not to pressure you or anything, but if the ship reaches Earth's orbit with not all of them either locked or dead, we'll release a neurotoxin just to be sure. Killing all the food, you, and all the backup views in the process. Now, don't worry, we've provided you with some cutting edge tech. You just head to those doors and do your job. Don't worry, you guys. We don't expect you to make it. We'll just wake up the next day before you left off. Good luck. Okay, so we're on a bug hunt. And don't forget, guys, this is an 80p game. And uh, this reminds me of Doom already. It's a bit like uh, Doom, Aliens, that type of feeling. And we've been given like um, some sort of mission. What's this? Can I pick this up? Okay. Rooms cleared. Enemy kills. So these are the different aliens. Look. Overall stats. Insert the card. Um, I dropped the card, didn't I, on the floor? Okay. Insert the card in there. Instructions. Oh, use a remote controller. Okay. Okay, so I need to um, use my thumbstick to change the controller. And we're going to play video one. You have to click down your thumbstick. Good morning. Sorry to wake you up from your crying app like that. The reason we woke you up is this. Oh, we've done this. Okay, so he's playing the same message again. Let's start the game. Part of the cargo is. And I do believe this is a 360 type game, so you will be needing to uh, spin around in your play space. Okay, this game is teleport based, I do believe. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, it's really dark in here. It looks really nice and sharp on the uh, Rift S. We've got these cool uh, creatures. The textures are really, really nice. Some nice atmosphere here. So I've got like um, two uh, pistols. And they feel really nice to shoot. And I can put them together. Oh, that makes a radar. Hold both triggers to warp. Okay. So if I hold the guns in front of each other like that, I get a super gun. Oh, that's, uh, that's like a grenade launcher. Look at that. Okay, this is uh, quite impressive so far. Some nice effects going on. So there's my radar. It says hold both triggers to warp. Oh, Christ. Okay, so you use the radar. Oh, what's hitting me? What's hitting me? Health. Why is my health so low? Something's attacking me, guys. I can't see it anyway. Okay, there's, a, there's something behind those 
barrels. Okay, where are they? Are they invisible aliens? Oh! Okay, they're on the wall. Okay, they look like the creatures from uh, Cloverfield. You know the big monster that drops those little creatures? This, okay, is this like a radar? Okay, this is pointing to where I need to go, look. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got flying creatures, look at that. Okay, they look really cool. Like uh, alien bats. I hope I've got unlimited bullets. Oh, crikey. Okay, there's some big um, aliens in there, though. Okay, they're dead. I can hear a heartbeat. My health's really low. Well, for an 8-to-P game, this is quite impressive so far. I can hear them flying around. Yes, they're lot. I can see them with my um, my torch. I can hear them flying. Okay, so we're moving on. I don't know how to uh, pick up. Oh, crikey, what's going on here? Why is the crates moving? Okay, alien. Die, die, die. I'm dead. Goodbye. Okay, let's have another go. Now we know what we're doing. So, session time, performance review, top 10, mine. Let's continue. I don't know if you get power ups for your weapons. Start the game. Okay, is this worth ATP? Hell yes. I'm going to add this to my uh, recommendation list. Hold the left weapon in front of the right weapon to form the okay. okay, where's these flying creatures? I can't, there they are. Okay, they were killing me last time. There, yeah, look at that little creepy sod, look at him. I see him. Oh! Okay, I can see the aliens on the radar. Where are they? Creepy, crawling along the walls. Die! There's one more somewhere. Where is he? He's behind me. He's there. Hiding behind the monitor. Okay, this is cool. And you can shoot the environments. Look, I just shot the uh, TV. Is it clear now? So this little radar is showing me where the aliens are as well. That's pretty cool. And it's a bit dark in here, guys. Oh, right, we go. Swarm. What the hell is that? Please proceed. That was like a fire alien. Okay, this is new. I've not been in here. Ooh. Shoot the fly. Oh, crikey, on the ceiling. Okay, one above me, somewhere. There, these eyes. Stay dead. Okay, so far I'm not scared, but these uh, maps look really cool. Uh, this looks like it's randomly generated, or I started where I died last time. I don't know if there's any health packs anywhere. Okay, there's one to my left somewhere. One down here somewhere. Where is he? Please advance. 
Okay, some aliens in there. I'm going to shoot them. Come on, reload. Got them. Some nice, uh, nice effects here. Where are they? I'm dead again. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick video. Just to test if um, cheap games on Steam, the cheap VR games, are worth it. Uh, what do you think? I guess this is one of those games that the more you play, the better you'll get at it. It's got a high score table. It's got some really interesting levels. For ATP, it was a quite a decent experience. So I might check out some more cheap VR games in the future, if this is something that you guys like. Thank you for watching, please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!